Engineering week runs every year, uh, usually the second week of November. It's, based, it's tying in with Tomorrow's Engineers, which is their National Engineering Week, which is a national initiative to try and just promote engineering. As a faculty, we bought into it three years ago, uh, 2015. And from there, we have it's grown from strength to strength where we have a wide range of different activities for the pupils, whether it might be workshop-based activities where they're actually engaged and, and taking part, doing different things, or we're actually doing more uh, where there's people come in and speak to them about career pathways, the individual journeys and things like that. Examples we've got every year, the Energy Girls uh, take part to help set up Adenin at Aden Park. So the girls, about 70 girls come here and we'll carry out a small electronics task uh, based on something that's suitable for going up to the park for Adenin. The girls will then go up there and help set up in Adenin. So it's letting them see what an engineer has to do in terms of a real project and setting up a, a, a major event and such as that. Uh, and that's crucial from the school's point of view and also Shell's point of view for being a bit of community buyback so that the pupils themselves are seeing that they have to give something back to the community when they're doing these courses. We also have NESCOL come in. Uh, NESCOL come in and do the S2 engineering competition, which is now, the competition itself is now in its 12th year. Uh, that's a competition that's designed to just get boys and girls engaged with engineering, so every second year pupil takes part in that. Other things, we have somebody coming from the college to speak to our woodworkers about opportunities, progression level, going to college. We have other types of engineers will come in and deliver seminars, deliver talks. We've got architects that come in and speak to the different options available going out in the real world and give them tasks. First year this year, did a QR treasure hunt around the school, which allowed them just to go out and experience uh, what it's like to use technology to find out more information. So all in all, a very busy week, but very rewarding for the staff and the pupils.